In this lesson, we will talk about tools bar, how many tools we have inside of After Effects, and what they can do for us. Okay, the first one is the selection tool. By choosing the selection tool, we can select any elements inside of our timeline and inside of our project. For example, we have this car in our scene and also this cloud. By pressing V on your keyboard, you can activate the selection tool you see in here, and you can simply click on each of them and you can select them and change their position. The, ne the next one is the hands tool and the keyboard shortcut for hand tool is H. You can navigate to your project. For example, in here I'm changing my view uh, scale, for example, 400 and you see it's zoomed in on my elements and I can navigate with this hand tool through my entire view. You see that it's very helpful while creating high details motion graphic and it's very useful and you see the pixel pixelation in here. Okay, you can also change the viewer zoom in here and you can change the scale options. The base option is fed up to 100 person and you can see all of your staff without any navigation. The next one is zoom tool. You can zoom a specific area by clicking on the magnifier icon and select one area. And you see that while I'm clicking on each area, you see that that area is zoom in. And also I can navigate with this hand tool. Change the scale to fit up. The next one is rotation. You can rotate uh, your elements by selecting this icon and click on your object. Don't worry, we will talk about these transformation staffs in the next lesson and in here you just know the working of these icons, what they do actually. The next one is the and find camera tools, orbit and track and these other stuff. These are all for cameras when we create a camera in our 3D objects uh, scene and uh, you can control the camera, for example, orbiting around your 3D objects and tracking by these options and we'll talk about it in the next lesson. The next one is the Anchor point, you can adjust your center point of your elements. For example, this is the center point of each object inside of After Effects. And you can change it, for example, clicking on this and change the position. The next one is masking tool. Masking tools are very important inside of After Effects while creating motion graphic scenes and also for visual effects. Once you click on this icon, you can hold on the right click uh, mouse button and you can select a specific area of your objects. Masks uh, have lots of options and, and we will cover it on next topics and next lessons and you will see the round and different shapes for our masks. The next one is also for masking tools but by pressing in here you can draw uh, custom shapes for your mask for example this and uh, if I ch change the method you see that I'm defining custom shapes and we'll talk about it later don't worry about this. The next one is the text tool. I can create text while uh, I'm clicking on this icon and click on the view and type what you want. For example, polygon. And you see, I have my text in here. Let's delete the masks and also delete the text and talk about brush tools. Brush tools, clone stamp, and also the eraser is same like the Photoshop. And what they do inside of Photoshop is the same as After Effects. For example, I want to brush on this area of my object. I just click on the brush and double click to my object, start brushing by holding the right click mouse button. And also in here I can change the colors of my brush, for example, red or use eyedropper and start brushing and removing this area. And for example, I'm just selecting click again and select the white and start brushing. You can see I'm adjusting the brush size in here, for example, 300, and you see my brush size is getting larger and different kinds of uh, other changes. And also we can adjust the opacity of our uh, painting, you can see, like this. Okay, the another thing is clone stamp. You can clone and remove one area of your object by clicking on the clone stamp and double clicking on the actual object and uh, by holding alt once you hold alt and just in here you can start brushing and removing one area of your object same like photoshop okay the next one is re erasing and you can erase the work that you have done with brush and this clone stamp 
The next one is Roto Brush, and Roto Brush is for visual fix and compositing tools. And I'm not going to talk about this in this course because it's just for keying out and rotoscoping, and it's helped a lot visual fix artists for creating rotoscoping for their objects. And the last one is the Puppet Tools. With Puppet Tools, you can create custom animation for your object. And and it's very helpful and you can deform your object's shapes. Okay, this was a brief introduction to tools bar and their jobs, what they do inside of After Effects. And in next lesson, we'll going through the transformation tools and next other topics.